Take a look at this video, the daredevils who scale the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, if you're an acrophobe or have a fear of heights, like we oh. don't even want to look at that. The video of their feet from a few months back going viral, but now the thrill seekers are being hit with a big time lawsuit and ABC's Marcy Gonzalez has more from our LA Bureau. Good morning to you, Marcy. Good morning, Paula and Matt. Officials say they had no idea this happened until someone sent them a link to that video. They have not filed criminal charges, but are now taking legal action. This morning, the two daredevils who climbed nearly 750 feet to the top of the Golden Gate Bridge undetected are in for a different kind of challenge, this time in court. Guys, we've just made it to the top. Thomas Rector and Peter Kerr, known online as Peter Tea Time, recording their dangerous escapade in April. It's so beautiful up here. The video with more than 140,000 views showing them dangling, somersaulting, and flipping high above traffic. We didn't really like know we were gonna climb it, but once we got there, we were like, yeah, we're gonna climb it. The Golden Gate Bridge District now suing the pair, accusing them of trespassing, profiting off the video that was posted on YouTube, and senselessly putting the lives of themselves and others in serious jeopardy. The last thing we want is uh, two young individuals uh, flying out of you from Wisconsin, dangling off the bridge and putting motors at risk. They want to make sure that people are recognizing that they can't just go about doing this without consequences. Rector tells ABC News he believes the lawsuit is giving them unwanted publicity, saying they are not in it for the money or fame. Their stunt raising serious security concerns after other breaches across the country. In 2014, two German artists say they were able to go unnoticed, scaling the Brooklyn Bridge, swapping the American flags with these white flags. And that year, this teenager prosecuted after sneaking past guards, making it to the top of One World Trade Center. And those cases prompting officials to make changes to security as they're doing at the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, we were unable to reach Kerr for comment on the lawsuit, but Rector tells ABC News that they did meet with the head of bridge security to explain how they pulled it off and to help them improve security. Paula and Matt. I think they certainly need to improve the security A after seeing bit. that video. Thanks so much, Absolutely. Marcy.